it's Isabel. So today's video is another confidence video, another just live your life, do your thing video because I've gotten this video request a lot. So I just want to talk about confidence and how to not give a f about. <laughs> about things, you know, and before we get into this video, before I get comments about people saying, how are you not going to give a F about things? How are you going to be like that? You're never going to get anything done in life. You're never, you know, you have to care about things. Of course, you have to care about what's important and focus on the important stuff. Before I get into these tips that I have for you guys, I just want to talk about what my definition is or what my goals are with this mindset. Now, this is a mindset that I was not born with. I did not grow up with this mindset for most of my life from whenever I was maybe a preteen till I was probably about 18, 19. I cared about really silly, insignificant things about what people thought about me, what people would say, what just silly things that we really shouldn't even be worried about. So with this video, I just want to help you guys form a mentality that allows you to let go of other people's opinions and free yourself from those negative opinions, from low self-esteem, from lack of confidence, and from self-doubt. I want you guys to form this mentality that you don't have to be weighed down by those things that people pressure you with and put on you. And a lot of times, those pressures are put on us by our own minds and our own mentality and what we think other people are thinking of us. And I just want you guys to be so comfortable in your own skin that what other people say, what other people say about you or however you feel or however you look, you're just so comfortable in your own skin that none of that matters and nothing can bring you down. And I also want to inspire you to go after what you want in life and not be afraid of people or dogma or anything and just live your life on your own terms. I just want you to focus on yourself, focus on your goals, focus on what's important and be free to just go after your goals and go after what makes you happy. And when you free yourself, you're able to live up to your fullest potential and live life on your terms. And to be quite honest, when you live your life with that mentality and you just free yourself and you stop focusing on people and their opinions and when you just stop giving a f about what people are saying or doing if you live a life of just happiness and you become your best and life is just so much better when you adopt this lifestyle when you adopt this mentality because you can just be yourself do whatever makes you happy reach those goals and just become a powerhouse in life become so powerful because you have power over your thoughts about what you can control we're not externalizing our power as i always say don't externalize your power so when you give an f about things that don't matter or people or whatever you're giving them power over you so we're taking back our power guys and without further ado i know i talk a lot Let's get on with my first tip. My first tip is to remember who you are. Now, of course, if you watched The Lion King growing up like I did, you always remember that Simba, whenever he was told to run away from his pride and he was basically exiled and he went and lived with Timon and Pumbaa and he grew up, he always felt that he could never be a great king like Mufasa. He never felt that he was the rightful king. He never felt good enough. He never felt tough enough. And that's why I love Lion King because The Lion King just teaches you so much. And Rafiki, the baboon, had to come and tell him, your father lives in you. And his father shows up to him in the clouds and tells him, remember who you are. Remember, you are the rightful king. You know who you are. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care if you don't think that you don't live up to me. You are the rightful king. And that's how you have to view yourself. You are who you are and you have your rightful place on this earth. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's the career of your dreams, whether you want to live in a certain place, just stay true to who you are. The way I realized who I am and what I came on earth to be and what gave me confidence is realizing that I have flaws and I have weaknesses and I'm going to either try to fix them or embrace them. I know I'm not the smartest person ever in the world and I know I'm not the best looking, I know I'm not the most talented, but I'm not gonna let the flaws and my mistakes and my past define who I am. That's not who I am. My flaws and my weaknesses aren't all there is to me. So I embrace them, I know I'm not perfect, 
and that allows me to focus on what I do have right with me and what my strengths are. And I give myself credit for the good things that I've done. I don't stay hung up on my flaws. I accept them and I move on and I'm aware of them because when you become aware of things and when you accept those things, nobody can use them against you. Instead, I give credit to myself for my accomplishments and the good things that I've done in life and I also focus and cultivate and embrace the good things I have about myself. And understand that you are a unique individual with unique qualities that nobody on this earth has. There is nobody else in the world like you. There might be somebody like you if you're trying to be like someone else, but if you stay true to who you are, your character, your abilities, your goals, your dreams, your mindset, if you stay true to that, there is nobody else in this world with your unique path, with your unique abilities, your unique qualities. There's nobody else. So love that stuff about yourself. Get to know yourself well. Write down all the good things about yourself. Write down all the bad things about yourself. And they don't necessarily have to be other people's opinions about you or what other people have said. Maybe it's things that you know about yourself that you lack or things that you know about yourself that you're really good at. And it's so important to just come to terms with who you are. Come to terms with where you're from and where you're going and where you are right now. But don't let it define you so much because we are constantly evolving. And if there's something you don't like about yourself, of course, feel free to change it. If it's going to help you with your goals and just become a per better person in the long run, go ahead and change those things about yourself. But don't lose sight of who you really are because you want to impress anybody else or because somebody else is telling you you have to change or somebody else is making you feel bad about who you are. Don't ever fall into this cycle of I need to please and please and please other people because I need to be accepted. Accept yourself first. And when you accept those things, those qualities about yourself, and if you know who you are, no one can tell you who you are. You become comfortable with yourself. You become true to yourself. I'm going to love those qualities and I'm going to embrace those qualities. I'm going to focus on those qualities, the good qualities, maximize them to their fullest potential and stop trying to fit to somebody else's box. And a lot of times people don't like you or they try to bring you down because you don't fit in their little box. You don't fit in their mold and that's okay but just get your strong qualities you know what you're good at if you know what you're good at focus on those things and a lot of times it takes some soul searching to find out who you are and what you're good at and what your talents are of course it takes time but don't give up on yourself and don't allow other people to tell you what you are because you know what you are you are enough you will always be enough don't ever let anyone tell you you're not enough. My second tip is to understand that people are just people. They're human, they're flawed, they make mistakes. No matter how perfect looking they may be or how perfect their job is or how perfect their life has looked on the outside or how many vacations they take or how many people are after them or how many people want to date them or how many people talk good about them. They are human and they are flawed just like you. They have insecurities, bad negative aspects to them. They can have character flaws. They might not even have the perfect life that they seem to have on the outside. They are human just like you. The reason this is so important is that you shouldn't let another human who is flawed, who has made mistakes, who is just as imperfect as you. You shouldn't let a person like that make you feel bad about yourself or hinder you from reaching your goals or don't let their opinions hinder you from loving yourself or reaching your goals or chasing a dream. A lot of times, those that say that you can't do something or that you're not good enough for something or that you can't have something are people who failed at those exact same things or they feel that way about themselves or they feel like they're not worthy or if they failed at a business, they're gonna tell you it's impossible, you can't do it, I couldn't do it, so you can't do it. So don't allow yourself to be defined or don't allow your abilities or your motivation be defined by somebody else's journey. Never, ever, ever, ever. If something didn't work out for somebody else, doesn't mean it's not gonna work out for you. Don't allow that mentality to limit you. You have your own unique path in life. Something that I've learned myself is that people choose to see you through their own perception. And always remember that you can't control how people see you. Don't try to control how people see you. Don't try to control opinion of you. Don't try to force somebody to think 
a certain way about you because you won't because at the end of the day that person controls their perception and their perception of you is a representation of them so a lot of times people just straight up don't like us or don't like something about us because we have a quality about us or we have something about us that reminds them of their deepest insecurity or just something they wish they had they just don't straight up don't like you I mean we can't control how people see us we can't control people's opinions so just let go of it just let go stop if so and so doesn't like you don't go up to be like, hey, why don't you like me? I mean, best thing to do is just move on, move along. There's nothing you can do about that person's opinion of you. They're gonna hate you regardless. People are gonna hate you for your skin color, for the way you wear your hair, by the clothes you wear, by your makeup, by who your friends are. People are just gonna hate you for no reason or love you for no reason. There's people out there, they have opinions of you and for no reason a lot of times. So why stay stuck on those things? You can't control it, so best thing you can do is just focus on the opinions you have of yourself because humans are just humans. They shouldn't intimidate you. They shouldn't make you feel less about yourself. If someone doesn't like you, if somebody doesn't want to date you, if somebody breaks up with you, don't define yourself by that person's opinion or that person's action because people's actions are representations of themselves, of their mentality. And a lot of times people are dealing with things we don't even see. So don't take things so personal and stop trying to change people and change their opinion that they have of you. It's very simple. So number three is to let go of societal norms and expectations. Now I feel like I'm very blessed and very lucky to live in this country, in this society, in this era. I'm glad to live in the 21st century because a lot of times women did not have the freedoms that I have now. The freedom that I have now is to choose to follow a career rather than get married or have a family. And if you live in the US or in a Western country or a country that allows you freedoms that you don't have to be married off at 15 or 13 or you don't have to live a certain life, embrace that. And even if you do have dogma surrounding you or a religion or whatever, don't take everything that people tell you as truth. Always question everything. Always question whether you have to get married or whether you have to go to college or whether you have to have an office job or whether you have to live a certain life or dress a certain way. Always remember that you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. If you don't want to get married, have kids, go to college, get a normal 9 to 5 job, you don't have to. You don't have to do those things. Do things your way. You don't have to dress. You don't have to act like everyone else. You don't have to wear your hair like everyone else. You don't have to wear the same shoes as everyone else. The world is just full of clones. <laughs> There are so many clones everywhere and people want to do so much just to fit in. Don't allow that to be you. Be unique. Be yourself. If you feel that your passion in life is to travel the world and to help people in less developed countries, be an entrepreneur, whatever it is that you want to be in life, or if you just want to be a mother, a stay-at-home mother, if that is what you want to do in life, do it. Do life your way. Way. Don't get trapped by dogma, expectations, just because it's the norm, just because everyone else is doing it. You're afraid that everyone is going to call you a loser or whatever because you chose this path in life. Let that go. Yes, people will hate. People will talk crap. People will say awful things about you. People will try to bring you down. People are just ruthless and relentless. Like I said in the past, people see something in you that they wish they had. A lot of times they'll resent you for it. And if you are living life on your terms and you're going after what you want in life, people will hate you. But you know what? Hate and anger and things that people say to you builds character. When people have brought me down in the past or have belittled me, if I was bullied, all that helped me to build strength now. So now I have this attitude of talk bad, talk bad all you want. There's nothing I can do to control what you say about me, but I made a promise with myself that I will live life on my own terms. And I don't really care what you have to say about it. And just look back in history. The greatest people in history were always people who didn't fit in, who decided to do things their way, worked against the establishment. They've never fallen in line with everyone else because they're made to think differently. And it's fine to think differently. It's fine to live your life the way you want to live. But don't let the media, don't let society, don't let your parents, your family, your neighbors, your friends, don't let anyone tell you what you have to be. Of course, by all means, listen to constructive criticism. I always say this. Always listen to guidance, people who mean well, but at the same time, realize that life is short. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Like Steve Jobs said, always break away from the mold. 
don't be afraid to do things differently. Number four, very important, and I tell you guys this so much, and I feel like I tell people this all the time. I'm so focused on myself that I'm a very, I don't want to say a loner, but I love being by myself. I love just working alone and doing things on my own. I just love it because I'm so focused on myself and on my goals that I don't really care what anyone else is doing. If somebody else is doing great, I'm happy for them. If somebody else is doing bad, I'll try to help them or whatever I can. Or I'm not going to be happy because someone's failing or be sad because somebody's winning. I want everyone to win. This happens when you're so focused on yourself that you just stop looking around at what others are doing and instead use that energy on yourself. If you focus on your goals and your growth and how far you've come along, stop comparing yourself to other people and other people's growth or other people's success, accomplishments will make you proud of yourself. So you're no longer feeling like you have to compare yourself to somebody else because you know who you are, you know how far you've come, how far you have made it in life. So. Who cares what other people are doing? I've grown from whenever I was 15 or 20 or 21, 22, or from last month I've grown, I've changed. And that's what I'm focused on, is changing. And constantly, every obstacle I find in my life, I am overcoming it, I am working hard, I am building character. And that's where all my energy goes, to myself. And of course, you know, I wanna help my loved ones as well, I wanna help my friends but really all of my energy is put into myself and into bettering myself and being better than I was yesterday. And your well-being should always come first. If you're in a relationship that's hurting you, if you are tired of trying to make other people happier, you're working hard for other people and you're sacrificing your mental health or your personal life or sacrificing your well-being for that thing, let it go. Always strengthen your mind with your lifestyle. Working out really helps you with your mindset, really helps just clearing your head. If you suffer from anxiety, depression, don't let that take over your life. Mental health is something so important and we take it for granted. So if you feel like you are getting into a rut or you're just having a difficult time in life, don't fall into that. Work on yourself. Focus on that. Stop worrying about making money so you can impress so-and-so. If you're sacrificing your mental health for something or your well-being or just your confidence or whatever it is, if you're sacrificing that for something, it's not worth it. Mentality, your growth, your confidence, all of that is so important because when this is really strong and it's powerful and it's in control and it is healthy, that's everything in life, guys. A healthy mind gives you a positive life. When you're so healthy and you're so embroiled in your own success, you have no time to compare yourself to anyone else or to feel threatened by anyone else or to feel like you're not good enough because so-and-so is doing well. You're just so in your own place that you just want everyone else around you to be happy too. Get your together. <laughs> Seriously, get your life together, get your mind right, do whatever you have to do, take time off, whatever it is, do soul searching, but get this right, get your shit together, get your life together, because when you have your life together, you don't need anyone, you can just be good on your own, when you become successful, whatever your definition of success is, you don't need from anyone else, you don't need to be in a relationship to feel loved, or feel pretty, or feel valued, you don't need to have this amount of money in your bank account to feel rich, or to feel powerful, or to feel like you have control in your life, because that all comes from within, so focus on yourself, don't neglect yourself, take care of your well-being, take care of your body, take care of everything, take care of this right here, all of this is important, your soul, your heart, and you'll see that everything else in life will just fall into place. And number five, this is probably the most important part of this whole mentality, and this is a mentality that I have had to adopt because it's just to me the sign of experience and when you're an experienced person in life and you have been through things been through loss and a lot of difficulty and it's no surprise that buddha taught this and that is to cultivate a mindset of detachment and have an attitude of detachment and buddha said it himself the root of suffering is attachment and i think a lot of the law of attraction you guys know i talk about this in law of attraction is whenever you're afraid of losing something it goes away faster. When you have money and you're afraid of losing it or afraid of spending it, you find yourself broke, you lose your money, you lose your business, you lose a lot of things. So what I find has helped me in my personal life and just in manifesting things is to be so secure in my life and what I have in my life that I'm not afraid of losing it, that I know it's mine. So let me just explain 
a little bit, just an example. Let's say there's somebody in your life and they no longer want to be with you or they no longer want to be your friend or they just no longer want to deal with you. Don't try to hold on to those things. Don't try to hold on and say it's mine, it's mine, it's mine and then you lose it and then you're devastated. If somebody wants out of your life, let them. Let them get out of your life. This mentality of letting go is so important. If you're holding on to resentment, jealousy, anger, let all that go because that's just in turn, that is weighing you down, that is making you suffer, that is bringing down your soul. And I have this attitude of if something doesn't work out, it's always for the best. I have this attitude that I live life as if everything is rigged in my favor. So if something doesn't work out or something doesn't work out with somebody, a relationship, a friendship, a job, an opportunity, if it doesn't work out, it's for the best. I have this mentality and a lot of people question me, if life was rigged in our favor, why do we suffer? Why do we? And I believe that suffering, negativity, all works in my favor because in the end, I learn from it or I grow from it or I just become a stronger person because of it. And in the end, it always works in my favor. And I always believe that what is coming in life is always better than anything I have left behind. Even if I feel like I left behind the most amazing opportunity or job or life or I feel like my life is never going to be better than it was in the past or my relationship or a boyfriend or whoever, if I left them in the past, I know that whatever is coming in the future is always better. And that goes for anyone. What is coming is definitely better than what we leave behind. And it just hurts to hold on to something that doesn't want to stay, that isn't meant for us. When we're holding on to something, there's this picture. It's really powerful because it shows that somebody's holding on to a rope and the rope is making them bleed and hurt and their hand is getting all red and swollen because they're just holding on to this rope. They're holding on to it for dear life because they don't want to let go what's on the end of it. And when you let go of it, it's like your hand is free. You're fine. You're not bleeding anymore. Just holding on to something and grabbing onto it with all your might is going to hurt you in the end. If things want to go, let them go. And why I let things go is because anything that is meant for me, anything that is meant for you in life, anything, whether it's a job, whether it's a lifestyle, whether it's a person, if that is meant for you, it will always find a way back into your life. Trust me. That's why if somebody wants to go, let them get out. If you're holding on to a person that doesn't want to be with you, who isn't meant for you, and you might not know if they're meant for you. They might be meant for you, but at that time they're not. So let them go and stop being attached to things. Stop being attached to people, to material possessions. Be okay on your own and stop expecting so much from others. Expectations ruin us. We expect people to treat us a certain way and then we're hurt when they don't treat us a certain way and we think something is wrong with us. When in reality there's not. So just to wrap things up, let go of an idea of how life is supposed to be. Let go of how you think things should be. And trust, trust in the process, trust in the universe, trust in yourself that everything in the end will work out in your favor. So when you rid yourself of this mentality of I need this, I have to have this or I won't be happy or I have to have this person or I won't be happy or I'm not good enough without this or accept life and accept things and accept yourself, accept your journey. You don't get hung up on your mistakes or on whether someone likes you or why someone doesn't like you anymore or why somebody doesn't want to be with you because you trust in the process, trust in the universe, trust in God, trust in whatever it is, but just trust that everything is happening for a reason. And it's so liberating, guys. It's so liberating because I can post a video on YouTube or I can post a picture and I'm not really worried if people are going to say, oh, she looks kind of bad or she doesn't look like she's having much fun or, you know, this and that. Because as long as I'm happy and I'm not hurting anyone and I'm living life on my terms, that's all that matters. Because guys, life is so short. Life is so short that it's too short. We're wasting our time on this planet worrying about other people or things that we can't control or the past or things that aren't important. Instead, you could be living the life of your dreams. You could be reaching your fullest potential. You can just be living an amazing, wonderful life. But instead, you're wasting it focus on things that don't matter. So I hope this stuff helped you guys. And I just hope that you accept yourself for who you are. I hope that you understand the beauty that you have and the uniqueness and that you are here on earth for a unique purpose and you have your path in life. Whether you believe you have your own destiny or that you control your reality or you control your future, just know that it is unique to you. And if something didn't work out, there's always a reason for it.
if something went wrong, there's always a reason for it. You might not see the reason now, and it might not make sense, but in the end, it does. So don't be so hard on yourself. Just be chill. Let go. Live happily. Don't be afraid of losing things. Don't be afraid because what is meant for you will always stay and it'll always be there for you. Just love yourself, know who you are, focus on yourself, focus on your growth, focus on your dreams. People's opinions at the end of the day, they're not really gonna do much for you, are they? <laughs> so don't let criticism get to your heart. Don't let praise get to your head. Always stay clear on who you are and what you want in life. And I promise you, life is, life is fun, life is great. Just stop giving power to things that you have no control over. Instead, focus on the things you do have control over and you'll see how liberating it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. I will have some more up for you guys soon. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I am on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All my links are down below and yeah. I love you guys so, so, so very much. And always remember, and I tell you guys this in every single video because it's the truth. Your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter your circumstances, no matter what people say about you, your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>